much. Just something to like really like get the shack blowing up a little bit. Instead of stop talking, Lila, stop typing. Just stop typing. Just twist off here. Stop typing. Oh boy. I gotta get a hold of uh oh, Kirill's. I'm hoping he hits me up soon. Nothing I can really do about flooding. Just waiting on you, I think. No, you're already here. I don't know. No, I'm, We're just waiting no, on them. I'm in here. Yeah. Oh, we're, We're actually ahead of schedule, guys. Honestly, I was predicting this tournament to be done at like 6 or 7. It is only 3 o'clock. We're about to be in the semifinals. So, big shout out to Kirill's, uh for chipping in. Uh, Jack as well. Uh, that's uh, Jackal uh, underscore I989. Uh, very good guy, man. He's actually really awesome. He actually stuck it through. Uh, he's actually from the EU side of the community, and I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, we also did like a dual stream with four streams going on at once. So big shout out to him, definitely. Um, oh boy. And uh, I'm just, I'm just so happy that everyone just literally like came out today. Um, especially you, Snacka. Uh, thank you so much, as always. You know. <clears throat> I wish I was rich. No problem, man. <laughs> I do it for the, I, oh, I do it I for, do the, people, it for huh? the people. That's cool, man. Well, we got some uh, smash going down, and just let you guys know, Matters Gaming is also sponsored by the Score Guys. Uh, they do whatever, ever, everything they can to help not only Matters Gaming, but to influence you guys to come eventually do a LAN party out here. They actually have the equipment, great setup, guys. I tell you what, if you guys ever do come out to uh, Memphisboro, Tennessee, off Memorial, just come to the Score. It's actually gonna be real interesting to see. Uh, some of you guys actually come out maybe in April. I'm gonna get some set up this month, and if you guys really want to do a LAN party, two v two only. Uh, you guys can win some cash money on the spot, uh, gifts, and all kinds of other things. So keep that in mind, guys. Matters Gaming is actually doing it. So let's just have it. Let's just have it happen. So, uh, and now we're finally started. Florida's here. So let's get this party started. Yep. We finally get tiebreaker map underway. We had Lala Man and friends winning Execution Hotel 4 to 2, and then we had WR making the amazing comeback after it looked like they were getting demolished in the first half of that rough on King of the Hill, but they're ultimately able to pull out the victory, and now we're going to tiebreaker map, which is execution, I'm not entirely sure. What's the, what's the last oh, execution Oh boy, Matters. I'm sorry, I, I'm focusing on, we are Old Town, so it's going to be Old Town. So this is actually the first time you all are actually going to see an Old Town map. We actually have not seen a Clock Tower or an Old Town, but next round we're going to see a, a Clock Tower, actually round three, um, when it actually comes up, when we actually start in the best of three in round three. But we haven't seen a Clock Tower yet, and I, get, I bet a lot of people are interested to see how Clock Tower is. If you guys actually follow Immortal Spawn, who is part of Raw Talents with Jay Metz, he actually made some really good uh, key points, but there is one strat that nobody's ever talked about yet and i'm going to make a video myself eventually and show you guys what i do and we got chad in the house one of the gears players out to the sea just showed up um big shout out to him oh yeah I'm, I'm i'm in the tournament right now so let me get my tournament done and we'll get down all right cool beats appreciate it man uh big shout out to this guy man always comes out supports matters gaming so i really appreciate him a ton of ton of ton so with that being said that's chad ass uh, he's on my friends list, so 
Also, Zylush has come back, guys. Now, most of you guys remember him in Gears of War 2. He actually participated and actually played against a lot of you at some hype events and also MLG events. Uh, he actually came back, and he's actually made a statement, and he will be in this party eventually. I'm hoping to actually see him around uh, about 4 o'clock, and when he comes in here, he has a lot to say. He's actually still sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Uh, he actually got introduced to Arcane. Arcane and him actually bumped heads, and... Uh, I guess they know each other. So with that being said, guys, you know, as Zylush gets in here, we're going to see uh, what he has to say. He might donate. You never know. This guy has money, and he definitely loves the gear. So with that being said, I'm going to let uh, Snagger take over because we are at Old Town finally. Uh, who are we going to hop aboard with? All right, guys. I want to hop on board with the first spawn for the COG team. So whoever that is, I want to watch him. Only because I expect to see, because you are COG, because you have the height advantage for this first round, you're typically going to see a 3-1 strat from the COG squad, and then the Locust, they sometimes match it, depending on the team you're playing, so I just want to see how this first round's going to pop up. So like I said, I want to hop on board the first player of the COG team, which is going to be... It's going to be Phobia. It's going to be Mr. Phobia. So we're going to be seeing a 1-2-1 from the Locust and a 3-1 from the COG. So Phobia is going to have that sniper with no with no contest whatsoever, but he's actually choosing not to pick it up. He's trying to see if he can get a little angles at Lancer Fire. He's trying to cross for his teammates real quick. It looks like the Locust squad wanted to play for nades, but they're not going to be able to get him. As you see, the crosses are coming from the Locust team. Right there, Florida actually able to open up things with a nice huge spot. That huge two-piece on Lala and Charles. Now making a 4v2 situation. Classic goes down, picking up his teammate now, and now they are stuck at the sniper rifle. I thought this map, I thought this match actually going to go in favor of the COG team, but right there, you just saw the Locust play that amazingly. They were able to entrap. They were able to entrap the, the COG team in Sniper, and now they have Nades, they have Digger, they have everything at their disposal. Nades go out, Phobia is trying to push the 2v1, Classic goes down to that Nade. Phobia oh, trying to do something yeah. to make something happen for his team, but he will not be able to get across, and the numbers yeah. are really strong. And now it is 1-0 in favor of WR the project. So again, huge, great plays right there by the, by the Locust squad running that 1-2-1. They chose not to challenge that Snipe, they just wanted to entrap them at Snipe. They knew that the COG team was probably going to do that. They're like, you know what? They can have sniper. It doesn't matter. Sniper's not that. Sniper's not that effective. So now I want to hop on for the first spawn for the locust team, which is Kivo Four. Or what is Kivo? Is it Kivo Four? No, it's not. It's not Kivo. <laughs> he stopped pick up a ink. It's actually. I thought it was Kivo Four. It's actually. But it was actually Florida. Florida is top. Now he yeah, gets, and he gets chainsaw. Yeah. So hop on for Florida, but he actually gets chainsawed as I said that. Yeah, and then Snow's gonna be able to avenge his teammate. Phobia's gonna be able to kill on Juan, and now Snow is That was a hands very like big mistake on Kevo. Uh, did you see that? 2v3 situation, and Phobia's just cleaning up Snow's. I did not Kevo see that. Kevo actually made a really it. big mistake. He, stuck in the he 1v3. was behind Lala, was lancering him, instead of going behind Lala, actually, wow, and a mistake happening on Phobia's part. When he came up behind Lala, and all he did was answer him and then get him down if it was me i would have chainsaw lala that that was a great play to make right there and he actually caught he's actually gonna cost them this round and it's gonna go to lala's team for sure so lala actually getting team killed by his by his teammate with that boom shot and i think the other i think all three boom shots have already been used so kivo doesn't have boom shots to worry about anymore but now he's revving that torpo trying to see if he can make something happen with it he's not able to connect with the first one but it's okay he still has four more that's four percent of kills there's only two people on the map so he can afford to waste a couple so keep before he's getting the call from his teammates to know exactly where these players are he knows there's one by the mid by the mid boom wall but he's not gonna be able to land that torque either now just kind of running away towards the cubby area he looks like he doesn't know exactly where he wants to go he's just kind of revving torque Willy Nilly trying to see if he can land one. He knows there's one player down there now. Now he's trying to push for the 1v. Still with Torpo out. He knows he's trying to push the player up bench. Try to see if he can get that lucky little stick. Trying to put a little bit of damage in there. Unfortunately, he's not able to connect. And now he's in the 1v against Mr. Phobius. Phobius is so hurt right now. Can Kibo capitalize on the damage? No, he cannot. Phobius is shutting him down with an up A of his own. And now it will be tied up one to one. Lava Man and them just replying very convincingly to what just happened that last round. So again, very unfortunate that the boom shot was used on the wrong people. Lollaman actually got team killed, so that, that kind of... If I were Lollaman, I'd be kind of like, what the hell, but it all worked out in the end. So now I want to hop on board Charles Broccoli, who is first, who is first spawned for his team. He Let's is see what Ty. We do. We're I think Ty can eat. Two -two. We're be seeing a 2-2 two -two from the Locust and a 2-2 two -two from the Cog. So Charles Broccoli, kind of staying back, waiting for all the lance fire and all the smoke to clear. But now Snows does have nades in hand, so I anticipate that he's going to throw nades at... Into Snipes in an attempt to get a kill. Charles Broccoli knows there's no one here anymore, so now he's starting to slowly push up. Still holding his la still holding his natural now switch. He gets a down. A nice he's got the nice yeah. fire. Is able to down one. He's actually able to down a player, but he will not be able to do anything off it. Unfortunately, he knows there's one player at bottom snipe. I think that's a one D, but he can't push it because he knows he might get crossed if he tries doing it. Right there, Charles Broccoli just holding his lancer. Now we're going to cycle players. I want to hop on board Juan. Go to Juan. 
Cause he, I want to watch Juan because he has bigger now, so he has the potential to try to turn this round, try to turn this round around, and put it into his team's favor. So Juan already shot one digger out. He was he forced that player out of position. Another nade goes out. I think that was a very uh, that nade was a little too late in my opinion. If he threw that just as soon as Juan threw the uh, the digger, then that might have been a kill. But unfortunately, he threw that too late. By the time he threw it, the player was already around the corner, so that wasn't going to connect. But Juan still has one more digger left, so he has to utilize this. He has to utilize this to perfection. If he's not going to, then of course he has the digger less, and he just got one last digger in hopes of getting a kill. He's four pointed. That was kind of a desperation digger. Last name goes out, forcing Lalaman out a little bit, so Lalaman was crossed, but, but he does stay alive. And Juan actually went down in the process of so classic. He's gonna be able to clean up that kill, and now those actually goes down as well. Right there, you see Charles Broccoli fighting the one, fighting the one B at. Had Snipe is actually his little chainsaw Kivo, so now I want to hop aboard WR Florida, who is stuck in a 1v4, tried to go for a little mantle kick or an up A right there, but unfortunately he climbed over cover, and just like that, Lala Man, Team DNR, are going to be taking the lead for, for the first time this game. They deserve to die. You must defeat them. So now it is 2-1 to one in favor of Team DNR. I want to hop aboard Mr. Phobius because he's on top of his team. So let's that is so weird. Right. Every time you do that, and it goes exactly to the player. <laughs> that is like the most weirdest thing in the play. Never mind, continue. Go ahead. I apologize. Okay, because okay, we're seeing a 3-1 from both teams. We're seeing a 3-1 from both teams right there. You see Phobius kind of crossing his own teammate in the back a little bit, but I don't think it's going to matter that much. Now he's starting to push up. Charles Broccoli actually goes down to Kiva 4. Phobius tried to back his teammate up, but to keep, allowing Kiva 4 to pick up the nice two-piece right there. So now just like that, it is a 4v2 situation in favor of Team DNR. Lollaman actually down, so WR Snows is going to be able to clean up that kill. So now it is still a 1v4. Leaving Classic all by his lonesome. He is getting hit with pistol. He's getting hit with lantern. He's about to get cut off from the player at top snipe if they're not chasing him. Classic trying to get in the college from his teammates to know exactly where these players oh, are. And the crosses yeah. are coming in. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that Classic can do. He will be crossed out, and this will be tied up 2-2 two to two yet again. Forever. So it looks like it looks like a lot of men of them are going to have to change oh, up what they're doing on the yeah. shot rounds. They have lost every round so far. So... They're definitely going to have to either switch up the strat or execute the strat a lot better. But now I want to hop for WR Florida, who is on top of his squad with sit with two kills, four downs, and one revive with 600 points. So now they are going to be running a 1-2-1. One, one. The Locust team will be running a 1-2-1, one, one, while the Cog team will be running a 2-2 two, a two, two strat. Right there you see Florida already pushing past Digger. He didn't want to pick it up yet, but I think now he's going to. So nades are in hand of Juan. Nades are in the hands of Juan. Florida does have now Digger, so now it'd be best if he just rotate to his team and start to overflow one side of the map with Digger and Nades. If they did that, and they can easily get a kill, easily get a kill and try to put this uh, this round into their favor. Right there, you see Florida going on the soup going on the super flank up top, just holding his Digger out. Charles Rockley actually goes down to Juan, so really great play right there to open things up. Two Diggers are out. Florida has one more dig. He's already just shooting them at the one at top. Yeah, Florida, at the one at top snipe, but it looks like all members of the Cog team are trapped at sniper. But Florida still has one dig left, so this is a potential kill. This is a potential, du this is a potential double kill if you can uh, if you can line it up right. Right there, you see all <laughs> the locust team just has this team trapped. You have one in middle, you have two at bottom, you have one at top. So now I want to hop aboard Lala Man Jr. who does have snipe in hand. So let's see if he can try to make plays for his team. He's four point out of his mind right now, but he is able to regain his health. So let's see what Lala Man can show us in this tiebreaker map. Potential, potential round six. Right there, Lala Man's just trying to peek around the corner. He's not able to see the head. Now trying to look to mid. But none of these players are poking out. They know Lala Man has sniper, but they're not trying to. They're not trying to give if up the advantage. If Lala Man has sniper and I was playing against him, I'd be scared too. Oh, he's good. He's good with so that. I don't know how. I don't know how good he is with it. So. But now, like I said, all three members of the cock team are trapped. At the at the uh, sniper at the sniper rifle and remember the locust team did have nades they did have digger I think they still have one digger left at their disposal so they could still use that to try to make a push I'm not entirely sure about nades so here you see classic phobias and Lollaman starting to make the push up top they know there's only one up there but now Lollaman just kind of doubling back trying to make sure no one's flanking them holding that holding that shot and now still Lollaman with a I told huge you. headshot I told right there. you fear. what I tell you Evo four Florida taking out phobias so now just like that it is a three v two situation. <laughs> Still in favor of WR the project, but now Snows does have nades in hand, so Lalaman's going to have to be wary of that. But Lalaman getting a huge sniper headshot right there at the kid that was down low. So great play by them to try to even up the odds. Let's see if Lalaman can show us another headshot. 
Oh, I'm trying to get those angles. He's, like I said, nades are still in hand of Snow, so he's going to have to be wary of those, getting the calls from his team to know exactly where these players are. And now Snows has a sniper of his own. So this is